Now that we've talked about increasing and decreasing, well, you can also look at relative maximum and minimum. So when a function changes from increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing, the function is changing direction. And because of that, you get what's called a local extrema. Extrema means that in that area, you have a maximum or a minimum. If you look at this graph here, it's the same graph as the video before. When the function changes from increasing to decreasing, the function has a local, or sometimes we call this a relative maximum. It doesn't mean it's the highest value overall on the function. In fact, since this function is continuous, and goes from negative infinity to positive infinity in its range, it wouldn't have an absolute maximum. Relative or local just means the function changes from increasing to decreasing. Notice that we say that this has a local maximum of 16 and then where it occurs. So the local maximum value is the y value and then you also want to include where that value occurs, so at x equals negative 2. A relative or local minimum is going to happen when the function changes from decreasing to increasing. So here we say that there is a local minimum of negative 16 and it occurs at x equals 2. Let's look at another example. We're going to find the relative or local, they mean the same thing, maximums and minimums on this graph, approximate as needed. So I notice that my function changes from decreasing to increasing here at the point 1, negative 1. Therefore, I would say that there is a local min of negative 1 at x equals 1. Here, we're just going to approximate this point to be the point 3, 1. So I would say that there is a local max of 3 at x of 1, excuse me, at x equals 3. Then the function changes from decreasing to increasing one more time. And I'm going to call this the point 4, 1 half, just approximating again as needed. Therefore, I'm going to say that I have a local min of 1 half at x equals 4.